dedicated to getting real content. Look. Molly, how's the weight cut going? No. How are you feeling for your comp tomorrow? No, you said to take with us, else. That's why we got the wrap today. Okay, we're not having pom bear for breakfast. Oh yeah! No, no. Do you feel any different going for the, like going for a comp where you're aiming to win versus do that. like say you're aiming for fourth place to qualify? No. You just feel the same. Yeah. Done. Yeah. Nice one. Yeah. Let's see how she gets on tomorrow. See if she can do the magic on the dance floor. So good morning Molly, she's scraping their windows. Alright, ready to go, go, go. <laughs> so give us a prediction on each one, barbell, clean and jerk, you've got to answer in five seconds. Hey. Go on. I told her to do this, I'll, whatever I need to do. Right, go, go on then, what, what, what's a, what, what, do you, what do you believe right now? Whatever I need to do. Right, alright. It's not right, even weightlifting, it's about it's about points. I thought you liked strong man. Right, all right, all right. Deadlift. Again. But how, how many reps, right, if you were doing it in training then? Or predict? predict. In training, I've done two, two sets of 12 at Conway. So I, I could do 15 plus if I needed to. Right, okay. Um, and stone to shoulder. What, what do you think for that? The best I've done in training is um, seven. Quick, run in, go, 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 go. <laughs> You've made weight. What did you weigh? Uh, 64 dead with my leggings and top on. Oh, you don't need to add that bit on. That's what, that's what annoying people there. Oh. You were 64 dead? Yeah. Am oh, I joking? <laughs> So, buddy, yeah, we're in for a treat today. Molly's put some um, makeup on. Never puts any makeup on for me nowadays, do you? How often do you wear makeup, Molly? Oi! Why do you never wear makeup for me? Why do you never wear your hair for me? <laughs> are you, what's really it? shocking. Hey. Yeah, you what, what are you doing then? Getting some breakfast and a drink and pumping a boobies. Look at this. Getting some milk for my uh, for my brew. So I've been sent away from the athletes briefing. Apparently it's uh, athletes only. Luke's a dickhead. Shh. Right Luke, what have we got today? We've got the Northern Qualifier for England's Strongest Woman. So, what classes have we got? Um, under 64, under 73, under 82 and opens. First year for the under 73 in the UK. So. And are we going to have predictions for e each class? Go uh, on. Okay, you put me on a spot. Uh, 64, I'm going to go Molly. Under 73, I'm going to go um, Rachel Greathead. Um, under 82's Donna Moore making her under 82 kilo de debut today and opens oh, I am going to say uh, Rebecca Logan so yeah my predictions if I'm wrong shoot me you got like one of those long, long thin necks don't get used to it <laughs> so I've carved again by uh, mid afternoon We're going for on the open of them rows. So we've got barbell clean and jerk first. Yeah, we're going to open on 75, play it safe, and then maybe make a big jump, see how it feels. So Rosie's in the 73 class, and we've got Molly in the 64s. What are you opening with? I've got 75. 75. <laughs> Excellent. Go on, them rows, let's have it. <laughs> Cut. Cut that out. <laughs> I see, are you proud of Mummy? Come on, Molly. 75 on the bar for Molly. Come on, Molly. Easy first step. Excellent. 75 stays on for Rosie, followed by Michaela and Rosie. Eight you please. Easy clean. Come on, Ross. Excellent. 
Yes. Up next we have Molly followed by Rosie, then Michaela. <laughs> Lift. How did it feel, Rose? Too easy, I've gone too light. I'm gonna go in there and do a heavy one. Are you? What are you doing now? 92. 92 now, are you? Otherwise, I'm third no matter what. Full send? Yeah. Come on. Come on. Time, Mo. Use your time, Mo. Use your time. So, great start to the North Qualifier, event one, but Max Barbell overhead. So Molly in the, came first in the under 64 class with her second lift, 80 kilos. Narrowly missed 85 a couple of times. Rosie, I'm not sure where she placed in the 73s, but Rosie Pearson managed 75, then 80, and then she jumped to 92.5. Had a great attempt, but didn't quite get it. And then standout performance, in the other category was Donna Moore, managed uh, 105 kilos on the barbell clean and jerk. Um, and I think this is her first comp she's done under 82, so absolutely brilliant to see her. She looks in amazing shape. Brilliant and exciting to see how she gets on with the rest of the comp. So I'll post the scores up after this. Holly, how are you feeling after event one? Yeah, good. Happy. It's all about the place. And where do you finish? First. Yeah, good. Well done. So what, what's the what's the event now? What weight? A 145, 15 inch deadlift for reps in a minute. Brilliant. So you're going to have a target train for? Yeah. Or are you going to go head to head with? Oh, maybe we're head to head actually, yeah. yeah. So what, what are you going to go for? I'm going to do some little sideways eyes probably. <laughs> to be honest. Two, one, go! Go, 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 How did that feel? <laughs> <laughs>
down. I didn't feel like that bad. I can't really remember it. So Molly got 145 for 15 reps, so she came first on the draft. Rosie didn't manage to get a rep in hers, unfortunately. Eight point seven eight for Molly. Take me a bit, please. How that feel, Mom? Yeah, nice actually. Uh, the footwork seemed to carry over well. Yeah, you see people tripping up and falling over, losing the footing. But what, what do you think on that? Do you think that's something that's trainable or not? Hundred percent. I think. Um, I think you said to me actually, I want you to train keg until um, there's no chance you're going to fall over with it. Um, which I think we've done. We've not, as I say, we've not gone that drilled it that heavy, but we've drilled, yeah, the footwork, the turn, like the pick up. It's something I've programmed for the same for like a girl that's doing this comp, um, practicing the footwork, the turn, in the pick up, because that's easy ways to shave seconds off and and just being comfortable carrying it so that there's less chance of you falling over but I do also think um, so that, uh, yeah. So what, what example protocol would you give to somebody? What I was going to say before I was so really interrupted was um, I do think there's a huge value in coming on the day and doing as many sets as you um, realistically can to warm up. It's not tiring if you've done your volume in training you're, you're fit enough. Three, three event wins out of three so we've got frame to come and stone to shoulder. How are you feeling for those? Yeah good. I mean I've won the event haven't I? I've won well, as long as you don't die on like on the way to like you still need to get a point on you still need to finish the frame and yeah. and the, get the stone, don't you? So yeah, but I, I feel more relaxed now. That one's out of the way. On, That's it. Oh, nice. One, two, three, when you compete at chaos. Like what, what, do you, what do you think? It's good, it's, um, it always runs really well. I'm a big fan of a comp like cracking on. I think it's stupid when you've got like hours between events or like a lunch break. Like I don't think it does the athletes any favours. I think it's, it's, um, there's no, no need for it to be long-winded. So it's, it's good in terms of the move it along, but you, or, you do always have adequate warm-up. Like there's plenty of space, plenty of kit. Today is not busy, but even at busy comps, like you do always get opportunity to to warm up adequately but it's not like overkill um yes good decent who's this legend on here legend <laughs> goodness Ready? One, three, two, one, go! Come on! 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 Are you saying vlogging? Vlogging? Are you Ready? Three, two, one, go! Come on! 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 Come on!
not been able to train it because um, of a back injury, so she's not she's not done. She's not trained for him at all. She's elated. Can you can you talk us through it? Come on, <laughs> quick response. What's happened? Why, why, why are you crying? It. Why are you crying? Why do you feel Mom's so? Mum's crying as well. Look at Mum. <laughs> Happy? Yeah, very happy. Well done. One, go! Yes. 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 Oh! Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. You don't know all the weights and stuff, just the experience of like the, the strong woman club. What do, you, what do you think of the the atmosphere? Like, what's... I think it's brilliant. I think it's brilliant to see young women in strength sports and actually celebrating what the bodies can do and not just all about um, being hung up about what they look like, um, which is what it was like when, when I was younger. So I think it's absolutely amazing and a great role model as well for, for Elsie. It's completely normal for Elsie to be surrounded by so many, so many strong, inspiring women. It's great, love it. Obviously emotional for, for Rosie, good to see her coming back into the sport because she was always my I used to always fangirl about Rosie. Have you seen uh, Donna compete in Donna Moore? Yeah, she looks absolutely incredible, doesn't she? Um, yeah, it's always amazing to see Donna compete, and I don't know what she's doing physically at the moment, but she looks incredible as well. Too. Yeah, do you remember when we watched the North qualify like five years ago? Donna was doing the opens. Molly, Molly, Molly did the opens that's it because she didn't yeah. make weight. And I can remember, I can remember Molly doing the squats and uh, yeah, they did um, it at the same time. Donna, yeah, Donna actually stopped and uh, shouted her on and remember that. Yeah, yeah. brilliant, cool. absolutely brilliant. Great. Good Yeah, yeah. Really? Come on. Yeah. Two, one, go. Second. One more, Mal. Come on. Come on, come on, Mal. Easy work. Yeah. Five seconds. Nice. And she's here. Well done. Eight breath for Molly. Right, Elsie. We're vlogging. We're live. What do you think of Mummy's comp today? What do you think of Mummy's comp, else? Deserve the win with that effort, bloody hell. Oh, the Five reps. Time. I'm just ashamed I got that one all the way up and then yeah, yeah. <laughs> didn't quite get it right. What, did it, did it not count that? 
uh, one, one of them didn't, didn't count because uh, I didn't quite. Uh, uh, okay. but, um, but you got four, didn't you? Yeah, four, yeah. Five. Five, 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 five. I missed the one, didn't I? Oh, like, really? Yeah, no good, really that good. Let, ten second warning, <laughs> and then you just went into another gear. It was like... <laughs> unbelievable, well done, well impressed. I think that extension just makes a difference really So that, that's the win then, is it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. fantastic, well done. You've got to be proud of me, Shane. <laughs> yeah, well impressive. Thank you. Donna, thank you for having a chat with us. No um, so I just want to say you're an inspiration to me and Molly and my mum. We, we came to we saw so you compete like maybe about five years ago at mm -hmm. the North Qualifier at Break the Bar. Oh right, yeah, okay. Uh -huh. um, and just ever since then been a fan. Oh thank um, you very much. That's and nice. Then kind. Watch you obviously do well at uh, Amazing at Worlds and Wuss. Mm -hmm. um, so what what's the score with you doing the under 82s? I'm um, interested. Mainly for me, it's because I'm kind of closer to that in body weight now. Yeah. Um, and the ladies in the open class are, you know, quite a lot bigger <laughs> now. So it's it's a big difference in body weight, basically. Yeah. So um, I just decided that for myself, it's also a new challenge to kind of like lose uh, lose weight and fit into this category. Or if there was a 90 kilo category, which may be you yeah. know, on the horizon, then something like that would su probably suit me better. And ha how are you feeling now at like this kind of body weight than like, um, say, a few like years much, ago? Uh, much, much better, to be fair. And yeah. um, I still feel kind of as strong. It'll probably balance itself out when I give it a little bit more time. But um, there's exciting things happening here in the UK, you know, now. So yeah. um, I obviously have to do the same pathway as everybody else. Yeah. Um, it's a bit, a bit of a new category and stuff. So I'm happy to be like a part of a part of that really? here um, and see what it leads leads to. Maybe what, what's this the goal? Like the, the under 82 pathway then? Um, yeah, I will yeah. say in the under 82 category here because there isn't a 90, a 91. Yeah. Um, I don't think there'll be a 90 kilo at OSG yet either. Maybe the year after. But um, you know, I'll be another year older by then as well so um the 82 kilo i'll just be me for for now and just try and maintain the weight that are you going to do uk's um it? yes I'm, yeah. yeah so that's an open class competition yeah. as you know so um i'm not sure exactly how that's going to go but the weights are kind of reasonable and yeah. i can do all of them so you know just have to see what happens on the day and i won't have brilliant. to do a walk up like last night all right <laughs> brilliant thanks i'm so happy finally won a title <laughs> taking me so since we went on the way home, we've had news that Molly's client, Charlie, who was competing in the South Qualifier under 64, how's she got on, Mo? She's well. So we've got champion of the North under 64 and champion of the South under 64. So great day for Molly. <laughs>